Right, so here we are at the end of another day. Um, this is one of those interesting things where I tend to go back and forward between really, really detailed engineering on things like this, where I absolutely want to refine uh, the function and make sure that all the tolerances are correct. And then moving on to stuff like this, which is going back to cardboard and just essentially getting things like obviously the, the interaction with the buttons and knobs and dials and displays. Um, all the way through to not necessarily always the most fun bit, but just making sure all the common sense stuff like can you access all the ports, power, USB, Ethernet um, for the Raspberry Pi so that it actually works. And of course, making sure that it has some vents as it does tend to get pretty warm. Um, but again, the great thing about this with cardboard, again, is just really the quickness that I'm able to just play around with bits like this. And then as you can see here, I've just been able to sort of work out where everything goes and there we can see it's just getting all that stuff mocked up from the inside making sure that I can actually assemble this all in the right sequence because one of the pitfalls you often find in CAD is that you end up doing everything and then forgetting that you can't get for example an allen key in to be able to undo these grub screws in which case it's kind of pointless because you can't actually assemble the thing. So this is like a really good dress rehearsal before I spend many hours 3D printing it on this thing um, to make sure that it actually works even just in the basics and cardboard. So there we are. That's uh, another day down. Good progress.